Hi everyone, I am Dr. Tanvir Ahmed. In this lecture I will talk about calf nutrition and feeding management from day 4 to weaning. In this video, I will discuss about feeding management of calf after colostrum feeding till its weaning. The discussion will encompass feeding milk, milk replaces, calf starter and fiber feeding. Choices for feeding calves After the colostrum feeding period, the calf is fed a liquid diet. There are several liquid feeding options available. These includes 1. Surplus colostrum either fresh or fermented colostrum. 2. Transition milk. 3. Waste milk or unsaleable milk, contaminated with antibiotics, mastitic milk, or milk with unacceptably high somatic cell count. 4. Whole milk, normal milk. 5. Skim milk. Skim milk is relatively high in protein, but contains less energy, 50%, and fat-soluble vitamins, vitamin A and vitamin D, than whole milk because the fat has been removed. Skim milk should be used only when calves are eating significant amounts of a good grain starter, usually at 3 weeks of age. 6 Milk Replacers Colostrum and transition milk have the best nutritional value of all liquid feeds available to the calf if properly collected and stored. Colostrum can be frozen or fermented, and conserved with bicarbonate. However, any of these are excellent feed sources can be used for feeding calf. Liquid Diet Choices for Calf Feeding 1. Whole Milk Majority of the producers fed whole milk to claves. Whole milk is higher in protein, 3.1%, and fat, 4%, compared to milk replacer, 2.8 and 2.5%, respectively. Dried whole milk would contain, 25 to 26% protein and 29 to 30% fat, whole milk will supply ample protein and energy for calves, if fed 8 to 10% of body weight at birth. However, due to its composition, whole milk may be deficient in trace minerals and vitamins. This can be remedied by feeding a quality calf starter in addition to liquid feeding. Whole milk is more expensive, as compared to milk replacer. Option, if soured colostrum is available, feed costs are minimal. How much milk should be fed? A good rule of thumb is, to feed 1 kg of milk per day for each 10 to 12 kg of body weight at birth. In other words, a calf should receive 8 to 10% of its body weight at birth as milk every day, like 3 kg of milk for a 30 kg calf. Dot. Calves should be fed the same amount of milk, until they are weaned. As calves grow, they can utilize larger amounts of milk. However, by limiting milk consumption, calves are encouraged to consume solid feed at an early age. Milk Temperature and Feeding Frequency During the first week after birth, milk should be fed at body temperature, 39 degrees Celsius, but lower temperatures are acceptable for older calves, 25 to 30 degrees Celsius. The most natural way to feed calves is to teat feed the milk at 39C twice daily. Preferably, milk should be offered in two equal meals per day, each 4 to 5% of body weight. When the amount of milk needed per day is offered in one meal, the capacity of the abomasum is exceeded and excess milk flows back into the rumen where it may cause digestive upset, like bloating. Once a day feeding is successful only under very strict and skillful management control. Under most conditions, once a day feeding leads to increased frequency of diarrhea and other health problems. Milk replacer Available milk replacer vary in the level of nutrients and quality of ingredients used. The main sources of energy in milk replacers are 1. Lactose and 2. Fat Lactose is the best source of carbohydrates, and milk replacers generally contain 40-50% to 50 lactose. 
milk replacers contain minimum of 10% fat higher fat levels in milk replacers may decrease prevalence of scours fat levels vary from 10 to 22% in milk replacers however fat content should be 15 to 20% when calves are exposed to cold weather or stress conditions crude protein levels should be 22% NRC 1989, or higher. High quality milk replacers have a fiber content of less than 0.1%. Here is the recommended nutrient content of milk replacer diet for dairy heifers on DM basis. Young calves, less than 2 weeks, should receive a milk based ingredients replacer. About 10% of the total protein in calf milk replacer has been derived from plant rather than milk, sources. Fat sources in milk replacers include lard, tallow, stabilized greases, and hydrogenated vegetable oil. A typical milk replacer contains 70-80% to 80 milk solids, 17-20% to 20 animal and vegetable fats for example tallow, 2% lecithin, traces of minerals, copper, zinc, manganese, cobalt, iron, and iodine, and vitamins, A, D, B12, K and E, with added antibiotics or antibacterial drugs. Milk Replacers, Benefits Milk replacers have several advantages compared to whole milk. 1. Fortified with mineral and vitamins. 2. Antibiotics can be added to control disease. 3. Coccidiostat can be added to prevent coccidiosis. 4. Mixed when needed. 5. Avoid the risk of John's disease when compared with feeding of whole milk. Caution, when using milk replacer, the manufacturer's instructions regarding dilution rate should be followed carefully. Most milk replacers should be mixed using one part milk for seven parts water to obtain a product with a solid content similar to whole milk, 12.5%. For intensive growth, calves can be fed between 14 to 17% solids. Calf starter feeding to calves. The first dry feed a calf consumes is a calf starter. It contains grain and protein supplements designed to develop the calf's rumen and provide an economical source of nutrients. Calf starter feeding, stimulates early rumen function and development, allows for earlier weaning, and supplements the nutrition provided by the liquid feeding program. Choose starters that contain between 18 and 20% crude protein. Better to introduce calf starter or dry feeds and water to calves within 3 to 4 days of birth. Here is the recommended nutrient contents of calf starter diet for dairy heifers on DM basis. Criteria for selecting a calf starter. The goal of calf starter feeding is to get calves weaned, removed from the liquid diet, to lower feed costs, reduce the risk of digestive upsets and develop the rumen. A quality calf starter will have the nutrient characteristics as discussed in previous slide. However, do consider the followings. 1. Physical form. Select whole coarsely ground cracked crushed roll steamed or flaked textured grains. Avoid dusty, moldy, or off flavor feeds. 2. The palate quality. Calves do not like finely ground mixtures. And, fine feeds tend to cake together when wet, which deters intake. Calf starter can be pelleted or fed as coarse grain to stimulate palatability. Pellet size should be 3 to 5 mm. Avoid pellets that are too hard or too soft. Pellets at both extremes will affect intake and avoid fine particles. 3. Fiber level. The fiber fraction should have a particle size of at least 1,190 microns. 4. Protein sources such as urea, raw soybeans, feather meal should be avoided in calf starters. 5. Molasses or molasses-based products. 
consider molasses or molasses based products which should be included at between 5 to 8 percent of the total mixture adding molasses can reduce fines and dust while stimulating intake 6. the calf starter should contain a coccidiostat feeding calf starter usually begin offering starter at three days of age so that calves should be eating some starter by five to seven days of age by the second week calves should be consuming about 100 to 250 gram per day a complete calf starter that contains added fiber is recommended free choice forage fed with a starter can result in over or under consumption of forage which can unbalance the calf starter if fiber is provided in the starter from oats barley soy hulls or other grain fiber sources rumen papillae and muscle development will occur feeding calf starter and water water is a critical nutrient for calves and limited quantity of fresh and clean water should be offered beginning at three to four days of age avoid overconsumption otherwise water belly may occur at three weeks of age if free choice water is available calves will often double their dry feed intake which coincides with a much more active rumen in order to digest feed rumen bacteria must have water calves should consume 8 to 10 liters of water per day at weaning milk and milk replacer do not qualify as water since they bypass the rumen weaning the calf when to wean hvs feed intake which one is better weaning age varies from four to eight weeks of age depending on liquid feeding strategies therefore age is not the primary criteria for weaning a calf weaning decisions should be based on the dry feed intake of the calf when a calf consumes 1.3 to 1.5 percent of its body weight as dry feed it is consuming enough nutrients to maintain its weight and grow without liquid feed it can be translates as when the calf is consuming about one kilogram or more calf starter for three consecutive days it can be weaned for healthy calves reduce liquid feed consumption by 50 percent per day one week prior to desired weaning date to stimulate starter intake do not attempt to wean calves less than four weeks old monitor calves for health and feed intake for 7 to 14 days after weaning weaning the calf and forage feeding the general recommendation would be to wean calves at five to eight weeks of age and introduce small amounts of good quality fiber from three weeks of age although research has shown that calves consume forages prior to weaning calves may pick at hay as early as one week of age but they do not consume significant amounts until four to eight weeks after birth if calves eat hay instead of calf starter energy and mineral intake will be low forages are not necessary until a time when a calf consumes 1.4 to 2.3 kilograms of high quality starter which is typically after weaning once the calf is consuming calf starter at the rate of 1.4 kilograms for small breed calf or 2 to 2.3 kilograms for large breed calf provide hay or haylage either of legume or grass forage is important at promoting growth of the muscular layer of the rumen and maintaining the health of the rumen epithelium the total amount of fiber as supplied by hay should not contribute more than 10 percent of the diet during the pre weaning period avoid extremely high quality forage as it can cause bloat in some calves haylage over 60 percent moisture pasture and corn silage should not be offered to calves less than three months of age fresh haylage must be fed each day to avoid mold formation and to encourage consumption monitor starter consumption to ensure that hay is not being overeaten fermented forages can be fed to calves but it is not recommended for calves less than three months of age feeding schedule for calves up to three months of age adapted from chapter 7 dairy feeding systems by sk ranyahan another feeding schedule with formula of calf starter and milk replacer
proper feeding and care of young calves is the first step in raising healthy, productive replacement animals. To enter the milking herd. So in summary. Feed 3 to 4 liters of high quality colostrum within the first 6 hours to provide calves with essential nutrients and antibodies. Match milk replacer to growth and weaning age goals to meet the calves needs, and to balance feed costs and animal performance. Offer a palatable calf starter by 3 days of age to stimulate rumen development and allow weaning by 4 to 6 weeks of age. From 3 days of age, make fresh, clean, free choice water available. Follow husbandry practices for calf well-being, like Provide calves with a clean, dry, draft-free housing that protects them from harsh sun in the summer and cold winds in the winter.